we will now study in elastic collision in elastic collision this is ground ball strike here and when it falls it has a final velocity u1 and after the collision it rebounds back with velocity v1 if u1 v1 are equal we say it is a elastic collision but if these two are not equal and v1 is less than u1 it can never be more than u1 but if it decrease if it is less than v1 there are losses of kinetic energy and that is in elastic collision now here we find the velocity of approach is this u1 minus 0 and velocity of separation is v1 minus 0 these two are different so velocity of approach and velocity of separation are different if they are same then that is elastic collision elastic in elastic we saw this and in elastic u1 minus u2 velocity of approach is equal to velocity of separation this also we have studied okay in this they are different then it is inelastic now for inelastic collision what should be the velocity v1 and v2 after the collision there are two quantities v1 and v2 we are supposed to find out to find out two quantities we need two algebraic equations so what are the two algebraic equations which we find in in elastic collisions the two equations are first equation is conservation of momentum conservation of momentum is there in all type of collisions so the first equation we have is momentum before the collision m1 u1 plus m2 u2 okay momentum after collision is m1 v1 plus m2 v2 and this is conserved so we can make it equal so we can say i will write it here velocity of separation is different momentum p momentum before is equal to momentum after momentum before is equal to momentum after collision this so this is equation one in second we have a new quantity that is there is a fixed ratio for any collision of the two objects that is velocity of separation and velocity of approach they have a relation a ratio it is less than this and this ratio is called e that is velocity or that is coefficient of restitution okay so now here we have is e is equal to v2 minus v1 upon u1 minus u2 this is our second equation so if quantity e is given to us and this uh, first equation we have these quantities now if there are two equations two unknown quantities we can always find out here we have v1 v2 e three quantities unknown quantities so out of v1 v2 and e we must know one more quantity that means we should have three equations but here we have only two equations that means e should be known to us and then we can find out v1 and v2 okay so these are the two equations which are followed in in elastic collisions so maximum we can keep 
two quantities as unknown quantities. So please remember this E, this E gives us one equation of V2 minus V1, this gives us V2 minus V1 is equal to E into U1 minus U2. Here this gives us MV1 plus M2 V2 is equal to this. So these are the two equations and these are the two unknown quantities. This we can find out with these two. So this is in elastic collision. How much is in elastic that is given by value of E. If it is a elastic collision that is elastic for elastic collision E is equal to 1. Why 1? Velocity of separation is equal to velocity of approach. So E become 1. Now for plastic collision. For plastic collision E is equal to 0. Why 0? Because the velocity of separation is not there in plastic. They just stick together and there is no separation. That is plastic collision. So E is equal to 0. Please remember. And for inelastic, for inelastic, E is more than 0 but less than 1. Please remember this data. Now, this is in elastic collision. If there is an extreme in elastic collision, we call it plastic collision. So, in plastic collision, what happens? In plastic collision, here is a bullet. This bullet goes and strikes a wooden blank. Okay. This has got certain velocity u1, it has got certain velocity u2, it may be 0 and after it strikes it, what happens? This is block and bullet inside and both are moving with one velocity. V, there is no v1 and v2, both are moving with a single velocity. Now, in this case, how many are the unknown quantities? Only one unknown quantity, v. There are no V1 and V2 and if there is one quantity, what you need is one equation. So what is that one equation that I told you? That conservation of momentum is always applicable, whatever type is the uh, collision. So in total plastic collision, total plastic collision, what is our equation? Our equation is equation is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 plus m2 they become one body and moving with velocity v in this m1 u1 u2 m2 these are known to us we can always find out final velocity with this equation that's all this is plastic collision Okay, so what we have done is inelastic, this is partially inelastic and this is total inelastic that is plastic collision. So equation for plastic collision. We don't need a second equation for plastic collision. So this is inelastic and plastic collision. And in the next lecture we will see if the bodies or the balls are not moving in one straight line. Then what happens? We use a striker to make a cut in the carom board. Striker goes one way, goat goes one way. Initial, the path was different. So we need a two-dimensional plane to explain all these velocities. And that is known as collision in two dimensions that we will see in the next lecture. Thank you.